The Milford Ponds project got the green light for expansion tonight at a city council meeting. By a unanimous vote, the council approved the plans for a third phase of development. Coast TV News' Britt Leone takes us to Milford to hear from residents on both their hopes and their fears about more housing and new neighbors in the near future. Pat Setley lives in the Milford Ponds neighborhood. She describes it as a friendly place to call home. If somebody needs help with a pet or a sick member of the family, we all seem to pitch in and help. And soon enough, there will be more people to pitch in. Milford City Council has approved phase three of development plans for the community, which will add 52 single family homes to the neighborhood. And the additional homes would be, you know, just like a little more family. But some are worried that this new phase will shift the community from cozy to overcrowded. Can the clubhouse facility accommodate that amount of increase? Because we're not even halfway there as far as units that have been built. And when they start doing more of that, Nobody's going to be able to get in the pool. You're not going to want to bring your kids over because there's going to be too many rowdy and older people and younger people and screaming. So. Sarah Bloom is the Economic Development and Community Engagement Administrator for Milford. And as far as she's concerned, all this growth is great. Creating jobs and um, overall just a, a better quality of life when you have more people living in, in your city. Um, and then, you know, coming downtown and, and uh, hopefully they're spending locally and, and providing uh, volunteer services or working here. So even as some still have some reservations, it looks like there's no stopping progress in the city of Milford. According to Milford Public Works Director Michael Swaby, Mayor Campbell is expected to sign off on phase three of development plans within the next few days before developers move forward. I'm Britt Leone in Milford Coast TV News.